Here are five ways to add citations to Zotero. First, create a Zotero account. Then download Zotero to your computer and install the browser plugin. First, using the web importer. We're going to be using PubMed as an example for this tutorial. When you have a citation that you'd like to add to your Zotero library, click on the Zotero tool added to your bookmark bar. This will change shape depending on what type of media you're adding to your library. Because the PDF for this article was freely available in PubMed, it is automatically added to the citation and the item has been added to the Zotero desktop library. Double click on the entry to view the PDF. Multiple items can be added to Zotero at the same time. This can be done by first creating a collection in PubMed. As you're searching, add items to a collection. This requires creating a free account with NCBI. With this account, you can save multiple collections, which you can then come back to. You can view all of your collections in your My NCBI page, and you can save those collections to Zotero all at once. Before I do that, I want to create a new folder in my Zotero library to collect those items. The Zotero symbol has changed to a folder because multiple items are available. You can choose all or some of the items in the collection and they will all be added to the Zotero library. If the PDFs are available in PubMed, they will also be saved to Zotero. Make sure to sync your desktop library with the online library. When I refresh the page on my online library, I see that the items that I just added have been saved. Items can also be added without using the web importer. To add a single citation, choose Send to Citation Manager, which will then download an NBIB file to your computer. This can be found in the download folder. To import the citation to Zotero, choose File, Import, and add the file from the download folder. The citation information has been added, and so has a link to where the article can be found. Multiple items can also be added at the same time. This can either be done by first sending them to a collection or by choosing multiple items and then choosing Send to Citation Manager. This again creates an NBIB file that can be uploaded into Zotero. The process to upload the file is the same as for a single citation. This file imported each item checked in the PubMed record list. You can drag files from your desktop into Zotero. Here I've created a collection folder that I'd like to add items from my desktop to. 
I can do that by dragging an individual PDF. Zotero will then automatically find the citation information as well as attach the PDF. I can do this for one or multiple items in a folder. I can select and drag all of these items into the Zotero desktop. This takes a couple of minutes, but Zotero will add each of the PDFs and find the citation information. There's also the option of adding a citation manually to Zotero. Choose the correct file type from the dropdown, in this case, a journal article, and then copy and paste or add the needed information. As you can see, this can be quite time consuming. A faster way is to use an identification number. Choose the ID importer and add in one of the IDs, such as a DOI, PubMed ID or ISBN. In this case, I'm using the PubMed ID number. The citation information and PDF will then be added directly. And now you'll be able to add citations to Zotero in five different ways.